Hey everybody, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery. I hope you are doing well. I know it's been a while since we've done a regular video. We did live streams of my last wood firing and that was lots of fun, but now we've had the in-person kiln opening sale, I've had an online sale. It's time to get back to making videos and today we're going to do something that is pottery related, but it's actually not going to be making anything today. Uh, I've got plenty of that planned coming up, but for today, uh, I'm finally going to show you what was in the big box that I had in here in my studio for like a year before I opened it and it was these pushpin mats behind me and so today we're just going to document and talk a little bit about where people have visited here from and where I've sent packages to over the last two years or so since I've been uh, selling online so let's go. So I have 374 unique locations to mark on this map of where I've sent packages. Uh, also have decided, like I said in the intro, that I'm going to start marking where people have visited here from. I won't get to every single one of those uh, because just this past weekend for our, uh, our in-person kiln opening sale, there were probably 300 people here. Uh, and I didn't mark all those locations. Of course, if I marked every location, North Carolina would just be a red blob and then I would have it would spread out as we go out. Uh, but uh, plenty of people that came that I had really good conversations with or especially people that say they came here because they found me on YouTube or Instagram. I love marking those locations because those are a little bit more connected to the whole point of doing this because the whole point that I really the whole reason I started selling online is because of having the YouTube channel channel and having Instagram allowed me to reach more people that I would, never would have reached and uh, basically at a point the whole reason I started selling online is because I got to a point where I started having people say hey where can I find some of your work and every once in a while I would do a you know a message back and forth with somebody send pictures do a PayPal transaction and I, that really got old very quickly and I thought I gotta find a way to sell online of course talking to John the Potter he helped me get started on Etsy and understand how to, how to make that work uh, and then after about a year of selling on Etsy I realized okay if I'm gonna continue this it would be better in my financial interest if I would start my own website so I went through Shopify not a sponsored spot but uh, they they made that process very easy for me uh, probably spent about 10 hours building my website as far as uploading pictures creating content on there and it has worked pretty much seamlessly from going from Etsy to my Shopify website. I'm not gonna go in real time and, and do all the pins. We're gonna do a time lapse of that. Uh, but like, uh, like I said, I have 374 unique locations. That was after deleting all the duplicates of where I've sent packages to some of these people multiple times or, or the different people in the same city. Uh, you can see I already have some red pins uh, from this past weekend and over the last couple weeks since I've had these maps on the wall. I know it was really cool to have pots hanging here when I would throw stuff at, at my stand-up wheel, but I thought this will be even better to have this um, just as a, as, a, as a reminder to me and as a thank you to you all for supporting me in your online purchases and where you visited here from. Uh, the only thing I don't like about selling online is getting to meet people in person, but I still have the kiln opening sales here. And and I've had, like I said, had people from all over. Even had a guy this past year, uh, this way, this past weekend, that uh, is from Romania. He's one of, uh, he's down at Starworks as a resident artist. And so I'm like, dude, we got to put a pin. You'll be the first international pin of where you visited here from. So I've got a pin in Romania uh, for him. But uh, anyway, like I said, it's been great to meet you all. It's been uh, an honor to send you all my work and to also get pictures and messages back uh, uh, from you all. Uh, the, the best thing I can do is write a handwritten note in every package as, as my kind of like compensation for not getting to meet you in person. But I hope I get to meet plenty of you in person as time goes on. But uh, all right, now it's time to get to the time lapse of putting the pins in the map. And so uh, let's do that.
All right, guys, several days later, and uh, the, the time lapse, if you did see one, it's pretty short because uh, I got bored making the time lapse because I got bored doing this, and I had to split it up over multiple days and, of course, other things going on. Uh, firing uh, two gas loads of crystalline, uh, uh, kiln washing bricks for the wood kiln, cleaning kiln shelves for the wood kiln, all kinds of stuff going on around here. And uh, so, but I do have the very last pin for now uh, to go in according, according to my list. Uh, for the most updated list that I have for my last uh, online sale, it goes in uh, Gresham, Oregon. So we're going to put the last pin in here. Uh, Gresham, Oregon is right outside of Portland. And I see it right there. It's actually on the map. So there you go. Gresham, Oregon gets the, the last pin in the map. And uh, yeah, so that's it until we get, uh, the good thing is, is from now on when I do an online sale or somebody visits here, uh, it'll be easy to put the pin, of course, when somebody visits here. Uh, but even next time I do an online sale, I won't have 374 pins to, well, who knows? If I do, I won't complain about it. But I most likely won't have 374 locations to put pins in the map. Uh, but for now, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, Excited to have in the last two and a half years that many places I've sent packages including several international places The farthest I'd say I have is in Australia uh, Then I have Singapore Saudi Arabia uh, Several places in Europe and Canada. So anyway, just thank you all so much for your support on the videos Thank you for your support on buying pieces from me when I do online sales uh, It's it just blows me away every time I do that and uh, I know my online sales compared to some people are just minuscule uh, but I'm very thankful for every bit of it uh, And so I'll continue to do that in the future and speaking of the next video you'll see you'll see from me will be unloading a gas kiln of crystalline pieces and then very soon I'll be announcing my first online uh, sale of crystalline pieces ever won't be anywhere near the number of pieces that I normally do in an online sale But it will be my first ever crystalline pieces that I have for sale. I've got some over here behind the camera That's why I keep looking over there, but uh Anyway, so I've already photographed them. I've got them listed on my on my website, but I don't have them live yet. Uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a future video. But anyway, as I said, thank you all for your support on purchasing pieces from me. And uh, I hope you've all been very pleased with what I've sent you. And I'll, I'll be doing more sales, of course, in the future. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day. And up next, like I said, will be a video of unloading a crystal and firing, which worked out really nice. So I'm excited to have uh, these pieces, although they are very tedious and time consuming to make crystalline. So I understand why not that many people do it. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.